Ben Aaron, welcome to Grande Communication Stadium. I got the man himself, Clint Hartman, here after a great two-score win over Amarillo High tonight. Coach, I got to ask you, before we start talking about football, it seems like everybody's talking not about football. How did you keep your guys focused, ready to go to play this first game with everything going on? Well, like I said earlier you know, the other day, you know, that we're going to love them through this. And then, um, you know, the big thing for us is I think right now, if, if people think you're on one side of an issue, then the other side gets mad. I don't think that's the way it should be. I think everybody should be respected. We've talked to our kids about it. I think they've grown up through this. Uh, I think they've kind of tightened their walls because they've sat there in that locker room and talked about, you know, we love each other, you know, and we want to be the middle of the rebels. And, and, uh, and so my kids, are, uh, it's, I think, the greatest uh, uh, example of being in America is a football game. Everybody up there is pulling for the same team and teams, you know, everybody's blocking and, and doing those things. And so uh, they love it. I think I am disappointed that at this time we're having to talk about other things instead of we should be talking about McCall and Young, how many hit 150 yards and Jamar Davis had 100 yards and, and then uh, uh, Christian Merritt 13 catches over 100 yards. Mikey lead for 2-4. I mean, those are the things we should be talking about and, and celebrating these kids that are having to come back through an extremely trying time of COVID and, and, and uh, you know, the first pandemic since 1918, uh, virtual learning. I mean, the politicians, nobody likes anybody. I mean, it's, I'd like, I think that, like I said, I, I mean this. We need to live like a locker room. We need to start loving each other uh, a little more, and we certainly need to start talking about things uh, that are positive instead of negative. A message of unity when things are so divisive, folks. I'm sure everybody can appreciate that. You obviously, you got some good stats, guys. I'd love to get in touch with them because all I can see conceptually is you guys scoring touchdowns, but you can put numbers to it. Talk about all the guys that were hitting home runs tonight, but even taking up those short yardage when you needed it late in the game. Talk about this offense. I think you know you start with the offensive line. They, they did a heck of a job. You know they packed it in there early, and we're going to stop the run so we threw the ball you know and Christian made some amazing catches uh, I think like I said I, I don't get it that's I've had a bunch of Division one receivers low at and, and others and he's it I mean like UTEP New Mexico State I have no clue why nobody's coming out of here um, and then and then you look at McCollin Young as a junior rushing up for over 150 Smart Davis rushed for 100 yards uh, you know then you talk about find a way to gut up and win at the end you know and had some had some big plays that we gave up and some busts and we got to fix those but you know we got 24 hours to, 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 to win and I mean look enjoy this uh, and then you know we had division one middle linebacker out today too with Elijah Nunez so we'll get him back next week so we're happy where we're at um, but not satisfied you want to say it say the rebels are back rebels are back the rebels, rebels are back, back baby <laughs> coach coach welcome back to Friday Night Football thanks again for taking us Ben Aaron back to you